All right, guys. So we have our second uh, our second cluster of eggs that we had under our broody hen has started to hatch. Um, unfortunately, when they went out there today, uh, one of the babies was uh, dead under the under mama. So I'm not sure what happened if if uh, maybe she just didn't have enough energy after she got out of the egg, or if she just got you know smashed or but we have one of them that's passed away, unfortunately, but you know, that, that kind of stuff happens. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move her up to the, uh, small coop where we have the other ones. Uh, we're going to move them up there so they can just, you know, be contained there and they don't get out. So we're going to move them in there, uh, with food and water and we'll move the bigger ones down to the bottom. So. We'll go ahead and get that done, and then while we're doing that, we'll see how many are hatched and how many uh, how many uh, that we still have left to go. All right, we had to clean this out a little bit, so I got that cleaned out. And we're gonna put some fresh shavings in there before we put her up there. Well, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. They could go down to the bottom. But I'm thinking they're probably gonna wanna go in here. So I might try to go ahead and mount another, uh, use this two by four I got over here and figure out a way to mount it in here. So I can, uh, so we can have some more uh, perching spots some roost spots unfortunately they're they're still big enough to get outside the fence and uh mama's left i mean she's pretty much leaving them alone now so i don't know i have to get them in here and or get them down there and leave them there for a while until they get a little bit bigger She looks like a she looks like a peacock. Yeah. <laughs> she all fluffs up. She's so jealous, huh? All right, you want to pick her up and put her in there then? You did that. She's gonna try to go right back in here though. The, the baby first. Huh? Put the babies first. But I, how am I gonna get to the babies? I get it this way. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't pick hard. It's just like it's just kind of react. It's kind of reactive to it, you know. There's one. Oh my goodness! This is one. This is my favorite one. Look, she poop already. Look, there's a lot of poop in here. This is a boy or girl. How are you supposed to look at it? I don't know. Put it in there. You put it. I pass to you. Not a poop. She poops already. So she needs to be changing the diaper. Three. Three. Ow. Ow. Susie. <laughs> Susie. Four. Ow. Ow. <laughs> you, you, you. Huh? 
Nope, nope. Oh my god. Making a run for it. <laughs> How many do you have? Four, five. That one looks like Hashi. Some sisters. They're actually Six. cousins, mommy. That makes them cousins. Seven. I can't believe so many hats are all on the same day. We only had a couple hats the first day last time. Okay, well, okay. I poop. Yeah, oh, there's another one. She just come out. This one's fresh. Yeah. How many? Oh. I can't see anymore. She's not sitting on her eggs anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Eight. What this one is coming to? Look. Huh? Look at this. Help her. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one definitely looks like Hashi. Nine. She's so skinny. Do you want to put wait, them wait. We gotta put the eggs in there. I know. Put the eggs in there and she'll go in there. Small one. Count it. Oh, she already smashed this. What in the world? I don't know. She's, she's, oh, she's, she's leaving. She's leaving. What is that? It's a double shell. They don't make it. No, good. Oh, she's, she's gonna fail. I've never seen an egg inside an egg before. Wait, is an egg inside an egg? That's not an egg. Well, but I mean, how did it break this? How did this break? The other chickens must have broke it. Right? How did the, how did the edge break apart? Yeah. You want me to pull? Go for it. Maybe this can be a shell, it's empty shells. You think it's just an egg that got into an empty shell? It looks like it's wrapped around it perfectly. Yeah, this egg went to the empty shell. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Well, that's bad luck. If you're the chicken, they rolled right into an empty shell. Yeah, yeah. What if I can? Is it got anything to it? Yeah. Booty smack. Give us some more time. It's because she has too many and then she can kick it. I can't hear nothing with all the... I just put it in. It's too really late to say that. To say the same thing last time. I'll put it back in there. Ay, grosera. Ow! Take it! That's yours, that's yours. There she goes. Yeah. <sighs> so what we got again? I forgot. Nine. Nine. Nine and four eggs. Alright. Just one more note. Um, hopefully sometime this week. Should be this week sometime. I'm going to do a complete overhaul of our chicken coop and redesign and double it in size hopefully is the plan because we got so many more chickens so this that roost that I put in there is really just temporary but 
uh, we're probably gonna gonna abandon the rolling nest boxes. It works sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. There you go. You see one there. But I, I mean, it doesn't seem to be super effective um, as far as keeping the uh, keeping the uh, the one chicken from breaking the egg because it's just one egg every couple days. We just get one egg that's broken. So. When I do do the redesign, I'm probably not going to uh, have rolling away nest boxes. We're just going to figure out which chicken it is and <sighs> make some fried chicken probably. And they don't do it every day, so it's kind of interesting that maybe we just uh, need to leave them out for longer. Because sometimes we leave them in here in the morning and uh, just let them free range in the afternoon. But uh, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know that the roll away nest boxes there they're working okay the opening here the opening here is too is too big either this is too big or this needs to be bigger the length between because they can get to them still so so just a side note that I mean it is working but our eggs are never dirty, you know what I mean? If you keep your, if you keep your chickens healthy and your net, your uh, chicken coop clean, these these eggs are never dirty. So that's not really an issue. It's just the broken eggs. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking all of this down, a bunch of it apart. It's going to be one big mess. But we're going to try to double the size of our chicken coop. Right now, it's including the nest box. It's four feet by eight feet. And I'm going to make it eight feet by eight feet. And I'm going to move it all the way over there. So, because this is the lowest spot on the yard. And it's just always wet over here. I mean, it just does not drain off. So and it's it's shaded really it's got a ton of shade which well, chickens need shade but i've got the roof so you know what i mean i, I don't need the natural shade i need some uh i need it to have some sun on it so it dries out quicker this stuff down here it just never dries out so it's going to go over there to this side of the yard and uh, I'll probably go over some more of it in detail when I do that video, hopefully later this week. We'll see if I can find the time. <laughs> and uh, it's just going to go somewhere around over here. And I'm just going to make a small run for them to have their food and water in. And then I'm going to try to make a fenced off area with the with the chain link and the, some chicken wire so they can just kind of free range in that little area and not be not be loose every day running around the, the whole yard pooping on everything so we'll see how it works out but uh, i just thought you guys should know stay tuned for that video all right so we got the new babies in there to where they need to uh, where they're going to be for a while. And then I took out all the center blocks and stuff from back down here. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put that back in there. I'll probably go ahead and put that back in there. And I'll just sit it on the ground over there. Um, you can see they're trying to get back in. So we'll be interested to see where they go since we cut off this coop to them. But she's come back to him again. She just doesn't know. She's getting right there on the edge where she's kind of letting them do their own thing and she'll come back to them. Uh, and the other thing that I did, in case they do end up, because eventually they will be over here, I went ahead and took that 2x4 that I had and I stretched it across here. Hopefully give some more roosting space to the chickens. So we'll see. And just a little side note here, 
of advice. This thing had some screws in it that I couldn't get out. And uh, people always say, you know, why don't you just, uh, why don't you build stuff with screws more, you know? Or why people, I always use screws because I don't have a nail gun, so people always think that it's just better to have screws uh, than nails, but honestly, it's a lot faster to use nails, obviously, if you have a nail gun. And then the other thing, too, is wood expands and contracts, and uh, if you uh, expand and contract, that's what happens to your uh, screws. They break relatively easily. So that's why a lot of times you'll see people say that that uh, nails are stronger than screws because that nail will move with the wood it'll move it in and out when the wood contracts and uh, shrinks so just a little uh tip for you guys thought you might want to know so i want to get that taken care of and then uh i gotta feed these guys they're out of food I think that's going to be about it for this one, because I'm forgetting something. We got uh, uh, we got nine chickens, nine baby chicks, and we got uh, four more eggs. I've never seen an egg that kind of like just fit perfectly inside another eggshell though, so that was kind of weird. And then also... Uh, I've never, uh, I didn't know that we'd have so many hatch on one day. And I think that might have been part of the problem with, you know, the, uh, with the one that we lost. Maybe it got smothered, I don't know. Because last time we had, you know, two or three hatch one day, and then we had like, you know, five hatch the other day, and then five hatch the next day. They hatched over like three or four days. But this one, they had nine of them hatched in one day. Because there was none, none in there yesterday, I checked. So we had nine hatch in one day, and then we got, you know, like I said, four left. And I don't know, maybe those, uh, maybe those won't be viable. We'll see. Because uh, last time we had uh, 15 eggs, and all 15 of them hatched. So it'll be interesting. And I got this little, this little feeder in here now. That I think it's gonna work a lot better. So now I got their water in there. Now I'm gonna take this feeder and put it down here with these guys. And then we really need to buy another water probably. So we'll see. I'll just put up some water in a container for them for right now. Like I said, I'll probably go ahead and put that in there, I think, yeah. Cause they gotta have somewhere to go <sighs> so we'll see if it works out worst case scenario they'll go in here probably that's not that big a deal it's just uh, i'll have to get up early in the morning and let them all out because if you know these baby chicks they do fine you know we're free ranging everybody right now so everybody's doing fine but you put them in here in this enclosed space with these other big chickens, they're they're probably gonna kill them. Um, you know, smash them, peck on them, whatever. Especially the rooster. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens tonight. Um, that's gonna be it for this one. We got our new baby chicks. Uh, thanks for watching.